Hello everybody, this is the Flat Cap Cafe Racer. I'm here at the South Point uh, Hotel Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada for the 2023 Mecham Auction. I've got my list of uh, bikes to look for that uh, you guys gave me. Steve gave me the hardest list. Uh, some of you else gave me longer list. And be sure and follow and see all the bikes we have here at the auction. Should be good. Stay tuned. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is gonna go down, find some of the bikes that you guys asked for. And since this is a Tuesday, uh, I'm gonna, and I'm not sure that the bikes are gonna still be here after Tuesday, so we're gonna go down and kind of look around on the Tuesday bikes. And the first one we're gonna look for is a GSXR 750. Uh, they sell the bikes uh, on different days. They sell them Tuesday through Saturday. Generally speaking, the higher priced bikes will be sold on Friday and Saturday. And also, generally, when they're selling the bikes, they, um, the morning bikes are a little bit cheaper, the midday bikes are a little bit more expensive, and the afternoon bikes are a little bit less expensive. Does that, I don't know if that makes sense to you, because they don't they have fewer people here in the morning and fewer people here in the afternoon. So, let's see if I can get down there. Like I said, I'll uh, do all the request searches first. And in the second video, I'll show all the 1,750-ish bikes. And in many cases, what they sold for. So, let's kick the tires and light the fires, Big Daddy. Motorcycles for Fly Tri Guy. This is a 1988 uh, GSXR 750. It's G134. You were wanting to see one of these. You don't actually see these that often here. So I'm going to show you this one. This is going to be one of the first ones to go across the, the floor today. Looks like it's got uh, 13,716 uh, 13, miles on it. And it, to be honest, it looks really clean. This is 1987 GSXR 750. That's S10.1. I want to tell you that the Suzuki guys seem to take care of their bikes really well. The look looks really sharp. I don't know about the micron pipe on it. But I'm thinking this is a nice rider here. It's a uh, nine, uh, 2007 GSXR 1000. Looks pretty nice. Looks like it has the original exhaust on it. A few scratches, little minor scratches on the gas tank, nothing huge. Does it look like something you used to have? This is a 1988 for a fly try guy. F113.1. Doesn't look quite as good as the last one I looked at over there. The 88, but looks pretty good. No, nah, not near as good. It's got, uh, shows 971 miles on it. Uh, I don't know. I think I'd take a flyer one like this without knowing a little bit more about it. He's looking for a 1988 CBRF. Uh, this is a 1990 CBR 1000.
about 12,800 miles on it. Blind score can find an acorn every once in a while. Fly, try guy. Found this, found this 1988 CBR 1000 Hurricane, which you've been looking for. And uh, sitting up here in the mezzanine. It is a handsome dude. Oh my. I'll try to get a picture of it also. It's from the Bob Weaver collection. And from what I've seen from the Bob Weaver collection, they're all been really nice. 4,351 miles. This is, you're looking for a 1993 Honda CBR 900. Well, I found a W363 is a 99 Honda CBR 900 RR. I'm afraid that's as close as we're going to get. So it's got, it says 2,100 actual miles. Last ridden just a couple days ago. I do get a slide of what the, uh, the bike is supposed to look like versus what this one looks like. He's looking for 87 Yamaha Phaser 750, and what we have here in T245 is the 89 uh, Phaser 1000. It's got about 9,800 miles on it. I'm going to keep keep looking, but I think. There's no 750s. I think there's a 600 I'll take a look at. Uh, 1997, 87, uh, 1997 Phaser 600R. About 8,600 miles on it. Was looking for a 19. 89 VFR 1000. Well, uh, this T81 is a 1985. But is it, this is a very sharp looking bike here. I do like those colors. Honda still uses those colors, don't they? This one looks like it's in pretty good shape there. Um, I don't think the original can. Eh, it might be the original can. Looks like it got almost 28,000 miles on it. This is lot two, T2 19-1. That's a 1985 Honda VFR. Kind of looks a little bit like the other one I showed you. Maybe look a little, little different. I think maybe a, a little bit cleaner to me. Two thousand nine hundred and fifty something miles on it. F one oh one. It's an anniversary model. It says fiftieth anniversary model. A 1954 Model K, and you notice that some of these have no reserve. The NR means no reserve. It means that whatever's bid is what they're going to sell for. This is my last attempt at uh, finding it. 57 Sports Street looking for. 
This looks like F271. It's a 64 XLH. With, I don't know if it's 20,000 or 2,000 miles. I've been looking all over the place for this uh, 89 Kawasaki ZX-7 and I couldn't find one. The closest I could find was a 1998 Kawasaki Ninja ZX-750 F-166. It's from the Bob Weaver collection and those are really nice. This stuff is really nice. It's only got one mile on it. Holy moly, not very much. Uh, this is the last one I'm looking for. Fly, fly Try Guy on the list. It's S58. It's a 2005 Harley Davidson Softail Custom FX ST. And it wasn't here yesterday. So. I think this is the last one I'm looking for you. Motorcycles for Mr. Bill. 1972 Kawasaki H1 okay. in orange. And I think the same guy that did his CBX did this one. Looks like it's got the stock air box on it, some filters on it. The cases are really shiny compared to what highly buffed. Uh, everything is a lot shinier than it was stock that's for sure shows about two miles on it very nice ever did these bikes did them really well yeah that was us oh did yeah are you the guys that did this yeah huh. show what was done you know it's got a re this has rebuilt crank fresh top end Runs. oh my buddy's gonna be really mad that he's not here now Mr. Bill, you should have been here for this one, S137. This is a really nice 69 Kawasaki H1. Shows 583 miles on it. Looks like it's got a little bit of oil leak there on the floor. Very look, looks very nice though, Mr. Bill. Just down the road from that, Mr. Bill, is a nice uh, S138. It's a 1970 Kawasaki H1. Red and white. I like that a lot. It's red, Mr. Bill. It's red. It's got Tony uh, Nicosia's uh, signature on it. It's got uh, 8,106 miles. It's got uh, Tony Nicosia signed a seat even. So, oh, Tony Nicosia, in case youngsters don't know, was one that Kawasaki hired to do all the drag racing and with these things when they first came out and made them really popular. Uh, Tony's a real fast drag racer at the time. He got these into the low low twelves, mid twelves, which is pretty good for that day and time. This is T two fifty four one. It's a nineteen sixty nine Kawasaki Mach three. It's the blue and white. It's not near as nice as the orange one, but I'll bring you the card on that one. But it looks like it's got the K&Ns on there. Looks like it's got the stock exhaust on. 7,500 miles. Looks like a, you know, a rider. It's a 1974 Kawasaki H1. It's in the green. I don't know if that's a original green or not on this it looks a little bit too good to be the original green seat looks 
great. The pipes look good. Uh, Mr. Bill, 14,368 uh, miles on it. The instruments look fairly good. I mean, they look good. Probably the roughest part of it on it. It looks like it's a little bit more highly polished than I remember them. A 1973 Kawasaki 500 H1 S29. It's got the K&N filters on it. It's kind of the, got that green color. 14,200 miles. Looks like the uh, pegs. Looks like a rider. I mean, a daily rider. It's not a collector for sure. This is a 1973 Kawasaki S2A. Um, this, uh, there's not a KH400 here. There's a lot of nice Kawasaki's, including this nice KZ900 right beside it. It's got uh, 4,300 miles on it. Got the standard air box. Looks like it's got different plug leads. Nice, Mr. Bill. Motorcycle for Steve, one old bull. My buddy Steve here was looking for a 1965 P11. I'll uh, we'll show you a picture of that, what that looks like. But in the meantime, I found a 53 Norton Mannix, which I think Steve would appreciate. It's F195. It's 500 cc's. It's a looker. I bet it might be a little loud. S31 to 67 uh, Norton Atlas. Not really sure why they got the dust caps up that high. He wanted to see a 1965 Norton Matchless G15. I'll show you a picture of one of those in the slide. But instead, I'm going to show you W257, which is a 1961 G2 matchless. Steve, I think you would look like a monkey on a tricycle on this. But it, it is one sharp looking bike. Oh, I like the way that looks. Very nice. Oh, this side just looks just as good. This is kind of a bonus for Steve here. This is W365. It's a 1962 Norton uh, 500T trials bike. I believe that for the youngsters, this piece right here is a magneto. Pretty nice. This is W366, a 65 Norton Electra. It's another one I was kind of looking at. Just kind of a, some of the ones I'm going to be looking at are just kind of unusual bikes. Not necessarily something I'd want, but something that you know I don't get to see very often motorcycles for bandit man UK Richard and Carol hey bandit man UK I just look one for Carol 
and I'm, I'm looking for that RD 250 LC like you were looking for but I found this 1981 lot number 215-1 it's a 350 RD LC and it looks pretty good doesn't it I don't know what color your 250 was See how many miles this one's got? 3,925. Look how spindly old forks on this thing. Oh my. T341, 1994 Yamaha TZ 250 SPR. I think I was looking for you, or this one, uh, for Bandit Man. UK. I couldn't find it until today. We'd first like to have you on the on deck circle down below at the bottom of the ramp. Our seller's ambassadors will find you there. They'll walk you through the bidding process that way. When your bike gets up here, you'll know where we are. If we have any questions, then thank you, Glenn. That's where you'll be when we're selling your motor. Man, man, you'd look good on this. Very helpful to keep the. Now, these next two I'm going to do is not because they asked for them, but this is for Carol from Bandit Man UK, T204, 1973, Purple H2750. We're gonna look at two Purple H750s, Carol, so stand by here. I kinda like it myself, and I'm not a purple person. 390 miles on it. Oh my, it is gorgeous. seat, pipes, rims, foot pegs, hand grips. It's nice. Let's take a look at your other purple one over here. This is T205-1. It's a 1975 H2. Looks like it's got a little leak there to me, but that being said, let's take a look at it. There's a little different gas tank. Can't, kind of different looking. Uh, it's got doesn't have the stock air box like the other one does. It's got the little k and filters. It's, it's very pretty, but uh, you know, of the, of the two, I think the 1973 is a little bit sharper. And it's got a little, well, 40, 4,200 miles on it. So it's nice, but I think the that one over there at 73 looks a little nicer. Motorcycles for Mark Lingle. The CX500 Turbo. This is 1982. And it looks a little bit, it looks a lot better, I'd say, on it. Looks like it's got uh, 36,000. 683 miles on it. Looks like all the bits and pieces are here to it, and it doesn't look like it's been banged up. So, of the two of these, I think the uh, 500 Turbo will be a little bit better. This is F317. Uh, it's better than one of them. Not quite as good as the other one, I don't think. It's showing uh, 29,000, almost 30,000 miles on it. CX500 Turbo. This one, let's see. It's W142. It's a 1982 turbo. It looks pretty sweet. Of the th three turbos, this one's got 5,423 miles on it. Of the of the three, 
This one might be the uh, the best one, Mark. The first one is a, a W39. It's a 650 turbo, and Roy would have a fit with this one. It's got some broken fiberglass right there where the blinker used to be. It's got some scuffs on the windscreen. It's got, a, I don't know what kind of seat that is, Roy. Looks like the back is broken. Um, yeah, it's kind of in rough shape, Mark, I'd say. This one's not what you want. Would not be what you want to start with. Maybe it would be. F318, it's a CX650 turbo. It's another one of the bikes. Um, I think I've seen three, three CX uh, 650s here. It looks pretty nice. Um, Roy might disagree with that. It's got, uh, wow, Roy's got 51,800 miles on it. Whoa. It looks in great shape, especially for that much mileage. I think Roy's has got about 2,100 miles on it. This is F111. It's a 1983 Honda CX650 Turbo. And this is much better shape than the, the initial one I showed you. Uh, it's not as nice as Roy's, but it's very, very nice. It only shows four miles on it. I don't know why. But very nice. I think this would be more something that you'd be looking for, huh? Than uh, the other one. Motorcycles for Steve Ford. He was wanting to find uh, Norton, a 1989 Norton Commander P52 Police Special. And this is F204. And this is what it is, Steve. Got, even got the little blue lights. Looks like it's got 1,150 miles on it. Yeah, I think it's miles. Yes, it is. Well, I found lot F119.1. It's a 1957 Norton International Model 30. And it's, uh, it's gorgeous. Hundred seventy four miles on an odometer. I hope this is what you're looking for. Um, so, this is 1973 Triumph Rick and Matisse. Uh, like a pretty nice deal here, Steve. <clears throat> I don't know if this is what you are aiming at. This is what I found. It's a Friday bike, so it's going to be fairly expensive. 71 Rocket 3. This is F108 to 71 Rocket 3. And uh, Steve, it's beautiful. See what kind of mileage is showing on it. Showing uh, 2,400 miles on it. 
but that's a beauty. It's another Rocket 3. It's a 71 Rocket 3. Um, 71 Rocket 3. F196. It's a lot number. I don't think it looks quite as nice as the first one I showed you. Got uh, 2,600 miles on it also. It says, it says complete ground up restoration with a recent service. Looks like the, it's doing an oil change right now. Motorcycles for FM dual exhaust. FM dual exhaust. The BMWs I'm supposed to be looking at are supposed to be right here and right here. They're not there. Um, 1977 BMW R100 RS. It's not the R, but it's the RS. It's a little torn on the seat, but it doesn't look. Got the Krauser bags showing 92,000 miles on it, so it's well broken in. Yeah. Well broken in. It's a 1984 BMW R80 ST. It's T286. And I haven't seen the R100 Rs yet. I don't think they're here. I can't hardly find anything on the old boxer engines. Of, I think I've seen the R90S here. This has got 9,500 miles on it. This is um, W235. It's a 750 Paso. 1988. This one's white. With, a, of course, <laughs> a really red seat. Like it's got a little battery tender on it and a rent sport exhaust can. And I had a buddy that had one of these. His was red. I don't think that uh, if you threw a box of magnets at it, it'd stick. It's another uh, Paso, a W1, it's W175, 1988, 750 Paso. It's also in white. It looks like it's got 7,746 miles on it. I can't tell a lot about it with all this body work on it. It looks pretty nice. Motorcycles for Mighty Mouse. You were looking for a 1981 Yamaha XS Special. Well, I can't find one of those here. I did find, uh, this is T74. It's a 1980 850 Midnight Special. Now, I think it's a lovely bike. I had a three cylinder 750 XS. I didn't like it much. I like this one better. I think they've probably fixed a lot of the things I had problems with online. This is for Mighty Mouse. Motorcycles for Stingray. This is 1969 Harley Davidson Baja 100, lot F55. I realize it's not the bike that you were looking for, but the two bikes I got were about as close as they're going to get to what you were looking for. This is clean. This is a 1972 Baja 100. It's not the Rapido for Stingray. T145. Clean.
closest I've come so far is this T-291, a 1972 Harley-Davidson Z90. I'm going to look and see if they got a Baja uh, 100, but just in case I don't find it, this is about as close as I can get, Stingray, to your uh, 1972 Rapido 125. Motorcycles for Sparky 59. Okay, Sparky 59. This is not the 1966 Ducati Monza 350, but it's S225. It's a 1964 254 Formula 3 racer. This is lot S285. It's a 1970 350 Mark III Desmo road racer. What I found here, you can see in the picture what it, those look like. I found a 1962 Ducati uh, 250 racer, which is really lovely. Are you the owner of this? I sure am, yeah. <laughs> well, that looks sweet, man. I appreciate it. You betcha. Thanks for the interest. Yeah. Uh, Still haven't found the, the Ducati you're looking for, but I got a nice 1969 Ducati 350 Desmo. It looks really sharp, and there's supposed to be another one parked right next to it, but you, as you can see, it's an empty spot. They just filled this one up, put it in here. Man, does it look good. I mean, simple. Just a a little bit of black and red looks great I we'll look back tomorrow and see if they have the other one here I'm supposed to have another one well I'll say today's been subscriber day I think I found 79 bikes that were either what you were looking for are close to what you were looking for and uh, there's a couple empty spots in there really where I came up the most empty was for the R100R that's for FM dual exhaust I found the Paso is pretty easy the, um, the R100R I don't see here at all and I was gonna do a couple the R90 slash sixes and maybe an R100 GS as a substitute and I haven't found them yet. Their spots are empty right now. And as are a few of the other ones. So today is your day. Uh, tomorrow will be, I'm just gonna do it for the regular viewers. And uh, what I will do is kind of walk around and uh, tape downstairs and uh, just video things as we go through. If we see something very interesting that I think maybe you have ever seen before, we're going to stop. We're going to take a picture of that one. But uh, so we're going to break this into a couple videos. The first video will be just for the subscriber bikes that they want to look for. I think you guys will find those interesting. How yes. are you? I'm fine. Do I know you? No, I was just looking at you. Uh, I thought I knew you. All right. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Hopefully, if you thought you knew me, it was for something good, not bad. Sometimes I get, you look like my brother-in-law. Uh, well, I hope that's good, not bad. No, it's never good. Okay. It's never good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, where was that? Well, tomorrow we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go around and look. Hopefully you'll like the uh, way I'm going to break this up, where I think I'm going to break it up anyway. And uh, so I'm back to where I'm starting. My back hurts. And I'm going to go upstairs and rest. Bye. 
Join me and my friends at Flat Cap Cafe Racer for riding and racing. Please subscribe.